Hi everyone, it's Anna Wheaton here from Nudge Nudge Inc. Inc. I'm popping on to do my first video using products from the new annual catalogue. We have this catalogue starting at the beginning of May. At the moment there's a last chance list with products from the current annual catalogue being reduced. Some will carry over, but this one has got new products in it. I'm going to show you a card that uses the in colors and also country bird house which is one of the new ones we are going to use this in our charity day that's coming up at the end of may so if this appeals to you and you would like to come along i'll let you know some more information okay i'll swing you around to look at my top and take you through the making of this card. Now sitting here in front of you, in your view, is the stamp set and then these are the coordinating dies. You can always buy just a stamp set um, but if you buy the dies at the same time there is a bundle code which means you'll get 10% off. So this has clearly got some outlines for some of the stamps, but it also has some standalone dies such as these flowers. They're just joined together with washi tape from me using them um, and a few other dies that I'm going to use many of with this video. So in colors, we have these new in colors. Every year there are five new in colors and they last for two years. So we're saying goodbye to five colors. And these will leapfrog with the other current in colors. So we've got a set that will last another year because they've been with us for a year. So this is the six by six paper that you can get in any of the color families. But this just shows you the different colors, different patterns, I beg your pardon. Okay, so this is pretty in pink. This is peach pie. This is shy shamrock. This is Summer Splash, and this is Petunia Pop. These two don't look alike at the moment, but sometimes you put them together and they are very similar. So in this 6 by 6 inch DSP, Designer Series paper, there are four different patterns. So you can see we've got the stripe, we've got the leaves, we've got the circles, and we've got the, what should we call it, pattern. And I have already put the leaf one onto a base so this is peach pie okay and we're going to assemble the birdhouse i've cut out all these pieces otherwise i'm going to keep you all day um so you'll see i've made some shortcuts okay first so i'm not using any of the stamps first thing i did was cut out using this designer series paper the shape of the birdhouse now it is a full shape there is no hole in the middle but there is a die to cut the hole so that's this one here I can't for the life of me, I mean it works fine to cut the hole, but it also cuts a hole in the hole. So you've got a sort of a donut. So my thought was to put um, a, cut a black circle to put in there, but of course that would have a hole in it. So what I do is I get a piece of black cardboard. because I want to make it dark inside that um, birdhouse. So I'm just going to cut that down. This is actually one that's got some em embossing on the back, but that's okay. So that's going to go there um, using a little bit of Tombow, just so that it looks dark in the house, uh, in the little birdhouse. A bit of mystery as to what's going on there. So there we go. There's my, my hole. Then there's various pieces that you add to it. So we're going to glue on using just the plain peach pie, this piece down the bottom here. And then you've got the pieces for the roof. So that's the top of the roof. We've got this lovely little white frill, scallop. What do you call it when it's on a roof? I'm not sure. Sorry, I've got a wayward piece here I can't pick up. And we've got this piece. Now, what I discovered through trial and error and then actually looking at samples um, in the catalogue, this piece actually goes on here. It 
at first glance, I thought it did that. But see, that sticks out a bit. All right, so let's put those together. I'm going to flip this over. <laughs> my, my fingers have grown. And I'm going to just add tiny dots of our multi-purpose liquid glue to that. The reason tiny dots is you don't want it squishing out the side. And bring this more central. And pop that there. Like so. So that's sort of part of the eaves, all right? Then here again, if you end up with a big blob of Tombow uh, and you don't want it squishing out the side, just use it like, like your reservoir. So just keep going back into it, grabbing some more, spreading it around. And... Popping that there. Tombow works because it gives us a bit of wiggle room. Even the dogs agree. I can't complain about the dogs. I think it's the ones we're minding. <laughs> We've got two black Cocker Spaniel brothers staying with us. Okay, like so. So there you have the little house. Then in the dies, there's also this tiny little circle. You've got to be really careful with those that you don't lose them. And I'm, that's going to be the perch. So in front of that hole on our house, you would have a perch for the birds to land on. What I did was I cut that out of early espresso and I do, and so is this early espresso. What I wish I'd done was um, cut that out of early espresso as well. But I've, you'll see, I've done other ones with the black, so I've stuck with it to be uniform. Okay, that's going to go there. So I need my buried dimensionals. Ah, they're not here. Now, um, my dimensional tip. These are dimensionals from our kits, not from the packs of dimensionals. And I always say for people to colour their sheet of dimensionals. But can you see that that sort of bleeds a bit? That's because the dimensionals in the kits are different from the dimensionals you buy in that the, the backing is sort of um, shinier. So it makes colouring hard, but that's pale pink. That will do. Oh, now I've just spotted my other ones. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add those to the back of our birdhouse. One in the middle there. Just noticed that was lifting a little bit. Like so. Get those backings off so when they are colored just say I got distracted phone rang or something I've peeled off all of these ones um, with the highlighter on the back I would be able to see that those ones haven't been able haven't been peeled off you probably can't see that because it's pretty light but it would definitely be darker um, on the ones that come out of the dimensional packs Okay, I'm going to add this one here up on its dimensionals and then that bottom bit slid a bit because I've stalking. Um, and then there's this magnificent piece that I'm going to put there. Now, I've already, if I was just doing it on this layer uh, and then attaching it to the card, I could trim it to be level with the layer but I was making this up as I went along when I did the first one and so easy oh this is slid too my gosh must be the weather 
Hang on. Not too late. Yay. Okay, stick that in place. Everything's sliding around. And then I'm just going to turn that over and just trim that there. Okay, so that my bottom of my bird stand goes off, off the page. Now, when you use that too, you can be imaginative and use it other ways. So, for example, it could go like that, like a, um, a stand on the floor, depending on where your focus was. Okay, there is also this die here so this creates a bow um, and of course your birdhouse could hang instead of being on a stand but what I did was I cut that out and then I've trimmed this top bit off just to make it into a little bow I don't have the ribbon yet there's five in color ribbons so I could have put a real ribbon on here if I owned any I've got plenty of ribbon <laughs> don't get me wrong but not in this color okay there's our little birdhouse coming together then we've got all of these flowers okay so in the dies see we've got a variety of flowers I love that we get flowers that are already textured so they cut and they emboss and in some cases they even like that's not just embossing that's cutting through if you turn that over you can see at the back um that it's got a cut that also means you've got to be careful with your glue because you don't want it oozing through those cuts so tiny bit of tombow tombow control is everything Put that there. Uh, I'm going to add another one. If those little sticky fronds, what do you call them? Stems are too long. You just can snip them off. See, if I hadn't snipped that off, it'd be sticking out the other side there. Okay. This is where I hope the flower will draw your attention away from the fact that that's a little bit crooked. No one will know. Mm. Except me. Okay, so I've mentioned we've got the DSP in the in colors. We've got plain cardstock in the in colors. Now we also have ribbon. We as in Stampin' Up, not we as in me yet. <laughs> Next on my list. Um, there are also embellishments. There are markers. And there are blends, our Stampin' Blends, which are our alcohol markers that I'm going to use in just a moment. I just want that to set for a second. Stick that in place. Should be using my take your pick tool. Now, don't ever throw these away. If you've gone to the trouble of cutting them all out, uh, keep them and use them. Put them somewhere in the stamp case. All right. Uh, now, in this stamp set, although we haven't used any of the stamps yet, we are going to use this one. This is the little bird. So I've already uh, stamped him, but cut him out with the coordinating die and then we're going to use peach pie markers and I'll use the brush tip end I love new markers they're just so smooth and juicy to use I'm going to come back in here with the dark. So I've saturated the paper with the light. A 
come in with the dark. And then I'm just going to grab pumpkin pie, dark pumpkin pie, and do his little tootsies and his beak. There we go. And I'm going to add him with a little bit of Tombow. Like so. All right. Now, oh, embellishments. So in the in colors, we have shimmer gems and we have resin dots. So that's nice to have two different ones, two different options for our gems. I have packed many, many things. I'm doing a Craft Alive um, stall this weekend and many of my things are packed. So my take your pick tool is lined up at the door. These are really nice. I don't know if you can see in the video, they've got a sort of um, a check to them or a crisscross pattern, which of course adds to their shimmer. So there I've got them as centers to the flower. Okay, so that's your peach pie. Let me show you the other colors with some that I've prepared earlier. Here's Shy Shamrock. I have yet to add the gems to that. Here is Summer Splash. Here is Pretty in Pink. And here is Petunia Pop. Can I just show you here this roof line? So this was the first one I did and I learned. So see, I've got the roof, then I've got the gable, and then I've got the scallop. And the scallop sticks out a bit there. Whereas if you compare it to the one next to it, see how I've put that brown um, eave onto the scallop. Right, so it makes for a more compact and better lineup. So there you go. Those are the five in colors. That is using Country Birdhouse, which will be in the new annual catalog and is part of our charity day. Thanks for tuning in. I'll put information in the description. Bye.